Exactly five years ago, I first visited Vicenza with Sony A5100 and 18 to 105 millimeter at 4G lens. I shot some cityscape video in 1080p, 60p. This time, I'm revisiting with the Lumix S1R and Sigma 2470mm f2.8, focusing on photography and trying to get more use out of my big, heavy, badass 47 megapixel camera. Speaking of big and heavy, the exceptional weight was the first thing I experienced with S1R on this trip. For I was climbing up hills from the train station to Terrazza di Monte Berico right after I arrived. It's a sightseeing terrace built in front of a basilica on a hill that overlooks the entire city. Gorgeous view if you catch it in a good weather. There will be Alps mountains just over the horizon of the city, but today unfortunately the sky wasn't anywhere near being clear, which means the images from the hilltop didn't manage to capture nearly as much detail as the camera sensor was capable of, being so far away and so much foggy air in between. Another problem with today's shoot was the timing of it. I arrived in early afternoon and left in late afternoon, so the sun was always low in the south, with no cloud to soften it up. Taking photos facing south was very frustrating. I'd have to crank up exposure composition to get the details of building, which are all in shadow. Here's an example of two photos of the same subject, one facing south, the other one north. The color difference is striking. With the sun behind me, the green in the trees are so much more natural, and the light and shadow in the sculpture is much more dynamic and vivid. Photography is really environment dependent. Uh, with great patience comes great reward. If the sun sets, I could take gorgeous pictures of the basilica, but I happen not to have much patience or time, so down the hill into the city I went. I'm going to just dump all my photos here since I don't have many other channels to share my photos anyway. Usually I pick some nice ones to post on Reddit and Twitter and in my review videos. In a way, I'm gathering material for my future S1R or at Sigma 2470 review down the road. Anyways, I'm posting all the photos today, all 180 of them. Three hours walk, that's averaging one photo per minute. There are photographers who walk around eight hours a day and come home with 1,000 pictures. I just don't know how that's possible without trying the same scene in dozens of different angles and in different moments, which takes way, way more effort than I usually make. Unless bursting shoots animals, I'm never gonna walk away with 1,000 pictures in one day. Here's one thing I realized during the shoot. I don't really like the 3 by 2 aspect ratio anymore, which is standard on full frame cameras. They're just too wide horizontally, and when you're shooting vertically, they are too tall and slim. I am too used to Micro Four Thirds 4 3, 4 by 3 ratio by now, and it just looks more focused in 4 by 3, in my opinion. In the city, there are a lot of uh, streets that look really pretty with all the buildings layered over each other from near to far down the street which makes great vertical shooting subject. But man, these pictures are so tall, so much dead space in them, the sky, the ground, just too much nothingness. All right, at this point, I have to come back to my first point. Uh, this camera is too heavy. <laughs> my right hand fingers, which held majority of the weight of the camera the whole time, are hurting. In order to not break my fingers, which are very important as a tennis player and a StarCraft II player, I had to hold the camera by the lens barrel with left hand to relieve some pressure. Back when I was shooting with a Sony A6100, I remember, I often dangled that thing on a single finger walking around. What a difference. Overall, I think I've captured more vivid images of the city than five years ago uh, when I was shooting the video, thanks to the massive 47 megapixel sensor, but I couldn't help but thinking that these pictures I took are kinda mediocre. Non really stood out. I could blame the weather, the time of the day, the heavy equipment, but the most important thing I think is the photography IQ or skill. Uh, on a brighter side, there is uh, always a chance that some pictures could stand out upon second and third review of them down the road. After a chunk of time in between, your mindset changes and perspective refreshes. The same images that used to look dull could suddenly become interesting and intriguing in a year, two years, or five years, or, or a decade. So yeah, I'm not deleting any photos unless there's critical technical error. A lot of photographers 
delete photos they don't like right away and only keep a tiny carefully picked selection. There's nothing wrong with that, but I propose the opposite. I would rather to keep them all just in case. You never know. Oh, these photos are huge. Even shooting with 25 megapixel G9 Mark II or GH6, I usually end up having a lot of files not possible to upload to social media directly without downsizing them first. These massive 47 megapixel files are themselves a guaranteed roadblock to quick online sharing. None of them is passable on Reddit or Discord without significant downsizing, which obviously defeats the purpose of having a larger resolution in the first place. Such a dilemma. All right, that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you next time.